for today we have in store for you 10 things you didn't know. Get yourself buckled up, because we're coming straight at you with picks such as how a snail can actually sleep for three whole years, or how a strand of spider silk of just two inches could put a stop to a plane the size of a Boeing 747. If you think these are insane, however, be sure to stick around for our top three, because that's where things get even more shocking. So here's our number 10. Chimps love getting drunk. It's a known fact that the theory of evolution states that in prehistoric times, the main reason as to why we fancied ourselves a cup of alcohol is because it actually helped us retain body fat for longer periods of time. The side effects of being extremely clumsy and making a fool of ourselves in front of our friends and family members wasn't a problem back then. So you can imagine that we were getting drunk on a daily basis without a care in the world. But how were we getting drunk when we didn't invent drinks yet? By eating fermented grapes and apples, for example. This gave us that edge that made us all clumsy and happy, and this tradition is still practiced by chimps to this very day. You will often see chimps enjoying themselves eating fermented palm sap, for example, which contains a whopping 3% alcohol, making it similar to drinking a modern-day beer. Number 9. A grizzly bear can bite through a bowling ball. While many believe that the strongest and most imposing feature of the grizzly bear is its claw swipe, it turns out that its most dangerous attack is by far its bite. Just for reference sake, a grizzly bear can easily chomp down a bowling ball and eat it without a care in the world because its bite has the force of well over 8 million pascals in total. And if that weren't enough, its swipe is just as scary as previously mentioned, as it can easily bench press at least 500 kilograms, making the most mediocre grizzly bear about as powerful as Eddie Hall, the strongest man in the world. Number eight. Flamingos are actually naturally white. Whenever you look, you always see flamingos represented in that pink hue, when in reality, they're all born white. The reason as to why they become pink later on in life is their diet, and they mainly feast on brine shrimp and algae, which changes their color over the duration of their life. This change can happen anytime from two months to five years. But it's a progressive change, so it won't happen instantly either. Number seven, a snail can sleep for three years. Maybe we're not so different after all. While humans are usually told that sleeping seven to eight hours a night is the healthiest program for them to abide by, this isn't the case for snails, as they can easily sleep anywhere from 13 to 15 hours per day. This provides them with enough energy to move around for 30 hours. But in some cases, they will even go as far as to sleep for over three years if they've hit the jackpot for food and hear no threats nearby. Number six, birds can't taste chili peppers. But birds actually can't taste any sort of spicy food signature hotness simply because they lack those taste buds. Essentially speaking, you could give a bird the hottest pepper that it can live through and it wouldn't stop eating until it's done. Now, this might not be the healthiest for the bird. In some cases, it can even lead to its death. But for the most part, this is just a funny thing to know about birds, as they can easily beat anyone in a spicy food competition. Number five, a two-inch strand of spiderweb can stop a plane. The main reason behind this is the fact that spider silk is actually five times stronger than steel. It's in fact almost as strong as Kevlar itself. It's said that if you were to fly the Boeing 747 plane into a two-inch strand of spiderweb, you literally couldn't help but notice that the plane is stopped in midair. Making a whole net of it would be able to stop any object whatsoever as long as it's dense enough. So the next time you go through a spiderweb, don't be scared. Instead, be happy that the spiderweb is only that thick because we can assure you, if the strand were about 10 times thicker, even you would have trouble walking through it. Number four, male gentoo and a daily penguins propose with a pebble. If you're a 90s kid, you most likely remember Don Bluth's classic 95 film titled The Pebble and the Penguin. Although it's all just a work of fiction, there is one interesting fact in this movie that many have glossed over, 
In the movie's plot, the penguin wants to propose to his love with a shiny pebble he found. And although that may seem like an allegory of our own wedding rings, it's actually based in reality. Male Gentoo and a daily penguins do actually try to find the shiniest pebble to propose. And they can even spend months searching for the right pebble for their special ladies. Number three, people bite each other more than sharks. Jaws had it all wrong. It shouldn't have been the shark that was biting the innocents. It should have been none other than Jerry, the awfully violent and vindictive neighbor. All jokes aside, not only are more cases of humans biting humans reported every year than shark bites, the number is actually sitting at around 10 times more than the latter reported case. This means that you are 10 times more likely to be bitten by another human than you are of being bitten by a shark in your lifetime. Number two, bats saved the U.S. agriculture industry $3 billion last year. Whenever you think about helpful creatures, you most likely immediately picture the hardworking bee or the sharks that keep other species in check. But did you know that bats are even more important than those two combined? At least when it comes to the U.S.'s agriculture industry. There's no doubt about it. Bats have saved well over $3 billion last year alone by consuming pest insects to a T, essentially eradicating any potential threat that could damage the industry altogether. And number one, African buffaloes have a voting system made up of only females. All sexist jokes aside here, essentially what African buffaloes do is they allow the females from the herd to decide on which way to go. They will split into two or three different ways and depending on which side has more of them, that's the path that the rest of the herd will go on. This is quite interesting as we don't see anything else of this sort out there except for well, of course, humans. The fact that it is only adult females that get to make this choice is also strange. But it also makes sense because they're the ones that carry their offspring and all of that. Are you going to be more scared of humans now that you know just how often cases are reported of them biting strangers? Let us know in the comments below. Also, be sure to click on the recommended videos on the left and right side of the screen. See ya!